vibrations, as I said, that is the manifestation of the spirit. But it is a very vague way of expressing it. Now, see, there's a, a nice flame before me. This candle has been enlightened. Now, what does it do? It gives you light. All right. How does it give you light? By throwing light to us, by emitting light. It is the emitting of pulsation from the cell. This light, this is light. Actually, there is sound, there is light. Very high frequency sounds. Very high. Actually, many types of sound are mixed in this. There is magnetism in this, in these vibrations. It has all the five elements, the subtle of all the five elements inside these vibrations. They are talking, they are telling you, they are guiding you, they are helping you. It's because the spirit is working. Like this light you take in your hand, you go in the darkness and you see that there is an impediment in between. You have to cross it. So you get the idea with this light. The light is doing that for you. So when the spirit pulsates in your conscious mind, in your conscious mind, then it is a self-realized personality. But in the unconscious it is there all the time working. Actually, the spirit itself comes out. It's a, uh, as big as your thumb is. You can contain your thumb in your heart. That is the reflection of the of God Almighty within us, because <coughs> heart perceives that image within itself, it is pulsating and is emitting the knowledge through our unconscious. Spirit is an unconscious being till we are realized. Once we are realized, it becomes conscious. It starts emitting itself and pulsating. And what is spirit is God Almighty Himself in a miniature form which is reflected in us. The more we clean our heart, which represents all the seven chakras within us, there are seven auras around our heart. All the seven chakras which are here in the Sahasthara, the seats are there, and all the seven chakras that are within us. Have seven auras around our heart, and when all of them are clear cut, absolutely clear, pure, integrated, then the complete emission starts of those vibrations. They are much more than I can explain because, say, the other day. A lady was writing a letter to me and she was saying that, uh, Mother, I'm so sorry, I have my accommodation problem is at the climax and very frustrating letter to so begin with and I'm absolutely as if she's going to be doomed now, the way she was writing. I mean, it's such a trivial thing like that, but she was very much concerned because she didn't know where to go. And first half of the letter is like that, second half is this, that Mother, just now I've received the letter from the the authorities that they have allotted me a very beautiful place in certain places. <laughs> now, I would say this is all vibrations because it is all pervading power. You become one with the all pervading power. So, so, how it helps? Because when she was writing to me, you see, the vibrations were feeling it, the what she was writing from the people. See, so, they communicated to the all pervading power. And the, and the uh, angels, or you can say the deities also can understand, and they must have thought, why bother mother with this, all this nonsense, better give her the uh, <laughs> letter as soon as possible, she finish it off. So in the same letter, she said, I am such a fool to write all this, but I must write to you to give you, uh, write uh, the, uh, the night and the day of my life, you see. So she wrote to me. So it can work like that. 
that way. So the vibrations actually are the things which are the doers and the enjoyers. They are the ones who enjoy it. Also. So you find a very good self-realized soul coming, then you just feel the self-realized soul and you say, Oh, very good. Come along, come along. Just have it. Come along, come along. Just have it. It starts enjoying that, uh, that joy that's coming from that person. And that is what it is. That uh, you start enjoying that beauty in the person through vibrations. It's multi-dimensional thing, you see. So it looks so simple that you're feeling in your hand, that's all. So it is a multi-dimensional thing, just like the God Almighty. And for your information, it is only He does everything. So only the vibrations work out of it. We, we, we do anything much mm -hmm. ever. We are living in fools' paradise. For example, the tree dies, all right, and you change it over and make a nice seat for me to sit down. All right, so what tree is dead and you make a seat and you say, oh, you have been to this, you have done that. Right? What do you do? Can you sprout even a, a small little seed? You cannot. But these vibrations only, which connect you with all pervading power, which are part of the pervading power, this pervading Almighty's eyes, you can say, they are the ones who look after each and every minute thing in this whole world. Can you think of such a multi dimensional thing? Now you have seen how vibrations work on people, how they dissolve even the thick bones, and how they bring out the Kundalini here, and how you see the softness on your. Yes. You just you cannot explain how. Because they only do everything. They have the universal uh, communication centers and they have universal uh, broadcasting stations, they have universal TV centers, they have everything with them. In short, you just copy them a little bit and you think you are doing something, but you really don't do anything whatsoever. That's why it is said that Brahma, this is the expression of Brahma, so the other vibrations of the Brahma, is the only truth. The rest is all Jitya, is all the Maya, it's just an illusion. We live in illusions, you see. He is the enjoyer, he is the doer, you are just in between to see. It would be like this Mike thinking that he is giving the lecture of Sahaja. It's really like that. So, to explain what is vibrations may not be so simple in all its details, but the overall idea I am going to you. Is it alright? <laughs>